Hi guys, welcome to this session on question six of paper one, where we are going to look at financial maths. Now, what does covered in financial maths? Simple and compound interest, which we learned about in grade eight, nine, 10, 11. And then of course the present value and future value annuity, which we cover in grade 12. The exam question that I'm going to tackle today is from the Department of Education's November 2022 paper one exam. So the first question says, 12,000 Rand was invested in a fund that paid interest at M% per annum. Per annum means per year, compounded quarterly. So every quarter, so four times a year. After 24 months, the value of the investment was 13,459 Rand. Determine the value of M. So the first thing that we do is we write down our pain. And pain is just all of the letters that are in our compound and simple interest formula. So P is our initial investment, and that is 12,000 Rand. Our final amount, which is A, is 13,459 Rand. Our I is M set, okay? And it's compounded quarterly, which means we need to divide it by four. Our N is 24 months. So 24 months is actually two years, and it's compounded quarterly, so we multiply that by four. Now, the first thing that we do is we write down our formula, and this formula is A is equal to P times one plus I to the power of N, or compounded quarterly, so compound interest formula. Then we substitute in our values, and you will get a mark for substituting into the formula, so that's 13,459, is equal to 12,000 times one plus our interest is M over four, and our N value is two times four. Okay, these are all the values we're pulling from our pain that we wrote about so on the side here. Now, the first step is we want to get M by itself. So the first thing that we're gonna do, or the furthest thing away from M is to divide by 12,000. So to do that, I'm going to pull out my trusty sharp 535 calculator, and I'm going to say 13,459 divided by 12,000. And that gives me 1.12158333. Now we never round off until the final solution. So we write down everything and we use every decimal in our calculation. Okay, and that is to ensure our accuracy. It's equal to one plus m of four to the power of eight, because two times four is eight. Now, the next thing to get m by itself is to get rid of this root. And to do that, we're going to take the eighth root on our calculator here on both sides. Okay, so to do that on the calculator, what we will do is we'll say eight second function and your exponent button and you'll see that makes eight a root and then instead of having to type in this number we're just going to press alpha and answer and what it does is it just takes the previous answer and substitutes it in for you so that it ensures your accuracy so here our answer now is 1 1.0144622 Two, two is equal to one plus m over four. Now the furthest thing away from m on the side is the one, so we subtract one on both sides. And so what we've got here is just zero comma zero one four 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 six zero two two. I know it's tedious to write, um, but it is important to show that you are carrying accuracy it is equal to m over four. The last thing that we need to do to get M by itself is multiply both sides by four. And what you do to one side, you do to the other side. Okay, so M is by itself now, and that we'll just plug into the calculator again. So I'm just gonna subtract one, and then I'm going to multiply it by four. And so our final answer is uh, zero comma zero, five, seven, seven, eight, and now because I want it as a percentage, I'm going to multiply by 100. So again, we can just chuck that in times 100. So M is actually 
So M is actually five comma seven, and we round off that seven, two, and eight. Remember, we always work to two decimal places in our final answer. There we go. Okay, so that's the first question. Let me clear that away. And let's move on to 6.2. 6.2 says, on the 31st of January, Tino deposited a thousand rand in an account that paid interest at 7.5% per annum, compounded monthly. He continued depositing a thousand rand on the last day of every month, and he will make the last deposit on the 31st of December, 2022. Now, the first question is, will Tino have sufficient funds in the account on the 1st of January, 2023 to buy a computer that costs 13,000 Rand? Justify your answer by means of an appropriate calculation. Now, the first thing that we see is that Tino is saving up. So he is doing a future value calculation. All right. So we know that our monthly repayments, which are X, is equal to 1,000 Rand, not repayments, but our monthly installments or our monthly payments into the account, our interest rate is equal to 7.5%, but it's compounded monthly. So we divide this by 12. <clears throat> our number of years is exactly 12 months. And you can do count on your fingers. So uh, 31st of Jan, 31st of Feb, 31st of March, et cetera, et cetera, will give you 12 months. Now on your formula sheet, you will find the future value annuity. Um, I never managed myself to actually memorize this, to be honest with you. Uh, but if you can memorize it, it's always a great idea so that you don't have to refer back to the sheet. For these, I like to check because the future and, and the present value um, formulas are quite similar and I don't like to confuse myself, so I make sure. All right, so we're looking for the future value and we're just gonna substitute everything in here so it's a thousand rand, open brackets, open brackets again, one plus. Now I, we need to change as to a decimal. So that's going to be 0, 0.075 over 12 to the power of 12 months. And then minus one, close your brackets. And this we'll just chuck into our calculator again quickly. So so we're going to put this into the, the calculator. So we're going to say one, uh, sorry, fraction first, fraction first, then 1,000 open brackets, open brackets, one plus 0, 0, 0.075 over 12. Right arrow to get out of the fraction, close your fraction exponent, put in a 12 and minus one close that bracket. So remember to make sure you close both brackets, otherwise you're going to get an error. And then 0, 0.075 over 12. I see I haven't finished actually writing um, this formula down. I'll write it down now. So the answer is 12,421. So let me just finish this. So that is 0, 0.075. That's a 0 over 12. Okay. So our final answer is here. So it's going to be 12,421 rand and two decimal places gives me 22. Now, have we answered the question? The question is actually saying, will he have sufficient funds in the account to buy something that costs 13,000 rand? But he only has 12,421 rand in the account. So no, that is your final mark. One there, one there. Um, one for this here and one for the 12 gives you four marks altogether. Okay, so make sure that you actually answer what the question is asking for. Okay, let's move on to 6.3. So 6.3 says, Tabo plans to buy a car that costs 250 Rand. He will pay a deposit of 15% and take out a loan for the balance. The interest on the loan is 13% per annum compounded monthly. So how much does Taubo actually have to pay back after he pays the deposit? Um, so that we're going to say is 250,000 minus 15% of 250,000. Now on your calculator, you can actually, uh, there's an amazing shortcut. Uh, let me show you quickly. So here what you'll say is 250,000 
minus 15. And then you just say second function and one, and it will just calculate that full thing for you. So instead of saying 15% of 250,000 is um, 37,500, you would then just get it automatically. And because it's only one mark, you don't need to actually show your steps. You just need to give the final answer. All right, so that's it. Now, part two of this question says, the first repayment will be made six months after the loan has been granted. The loan will be repaid over a period of six years after it has been granted. Calculate the monthly installment. Okay. So the first thing that we need to do is to find out what is the present value that they actually gonna that Tabo is actually gonna pay because he's gonna earn thirteen percent over the six months where he's not paying any money back. So that is just a is equal to p times one plus i to the power of n compounded monthly. Okay, we're looking for a. Our p value is the loan amount. So that was two hundred and twelve. 1,500 rand times 1 plus our interest is 13% compounded monthly, so divided by 12, and it is over six months, sorry, over five months, because the sixth month he actually makes payment, so five months. So if we just chuck that into our calculator, we will get a value of uh, 212,500 times one plus 0 0.13 over 12 to the power of five. And that gives us a value of 224,262 rand and 53 cents. Remember to round off to two decimal places here. Right, so now we need the present value. And again, we'll just use our formula sheet to find our formula, which says x, open brackets, 1 minus 1 plus i to the power of negative n, close brackets, all over i. Okay, so p is given as, uh, I'm going to write it here, 224, 262, and 53 cents is equal to, we don't know what x is, that's what we're looking for. 1 minus 1 plus i is 0, 0,13 over 12 to the power of negative. And here, your n will be um, 6 years times 12 minus the first five initial months where there weren't any hits. And all of this, close brackets, is over i, which is 0, 0,13 over 12. All right, so we need to get x by itself. So what I'm going to do is take this to the other side. So on my calculator, I'm actually just going to multiply this answer by uh, 0, 0.13 over 12. And that is going to give me an answer of 200, uh, 2,429 and 51, 0, 6, nine two as equal to x and i'll just chuck this part into the calculator as well and that will give us an answer of open brackets one minus open brackets again one plus 0 0.13 over 12 right arrow to get out of your fraction close your bracket to the power of now remember to use a negative button and not the minus, otherwise you're going to get an error. And then brackets, 6 times 12 minus 5, close your brackets. Press your right arrow and close the brackets again. It is equal to, and that will give us uh, 0, 0,5141862222. Close our brackets. Now we want x by itself, so we're going to divide this by this one here. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to type in 2429.510692 divided by, and I'm just going to use my answer, so alpha and answer and equals, and that will give us a monthly repayment of x is equal to 4,724 rand and 96 
cents per month, which he will pay over six times 12, which is, uh, what is that? 72 minus five, so it's over 68 months. All right, so that is our solution. And that is all of the questions we have for question six. So please like and subscribe our videos. And please watch the next one where we'll be doing questions seven, eight, and nine with a focus on calculus. Remember to visit Maths at Sharp for all your free grade eight to 12 worksheets, exam papers, memos, study guides, and so much more. Cheers for now.